So, hey, Eric, what do you think is the next, next step of um, data journalism? Well, I think um, data journalism is likely to, uh, to, to, as the tools improve, really get um, uh, used by a lot more people. So the, 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 the tools for, um, for doing data journalism, uh, we hope are going to be in the hands of more people. <laughs> a little, little thundery here. I'll, re I'll, repeat, I'll repeat that. Um, so I think that the tools of data journalism are probably going to be um, are going to become easier to use, and as a result, are going to be used by more people. And I would expect to see um, uh, the sort of democratization of data journalism um, with. Can we stop, stop for a yeah, second? Because I sure. think I should re repeat that question again. Okay. 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 So yeah. Eric, um, can you please just tell us what's the next step for data journalism? I would say the uh, the tools of data journalism, as they become easier to use, are going to be in the hands of more people and uh, are likely to uh, result in a sort of a democratization of data journalism as, uh, uh, as we see things like um, Tableau, which is an easy to use tool for sort of creating data visualizations. Um, uh, Google Fusion Tables are a great way to, um, to sort of analyze and filter data. A lot of this stuff is uh, accessible to people who don't know how to program. And so uh, suddenly, uh, you, you know, you don't have to be a, a nerd. Uh, you have to be a little bit of a nerd, but not a total nerd to, uh, to do data journalism. So how can we get it more accessible in the future? Um, you know, I think that the you know the creation of some of these tools is going to be a big part of it. Um, I think training. I think um, you know reporters uh, are, are don't necessarily have to know how to become computer programmers in order to take advantage of some of these tools. Um, just learning you know basic sort of uh, uh, spreadsheet uh, usage and how to sort of perform database queries and things like that can can uh, can help uh, a, a great deal. Um, and I think as more people uh, get using these kinds of tools, um, we're going to see uh, all kinds of experimentation. So how do you yourself um, get involved in data journalism? Uh, accidentally. Um, I was working as a producer at the LA Times. Uh, we had um, uh, some, uh, some really interesting um, uh, data that was being collected by reporters uh, on homicides in, in LA. And, and uh, we thought, well, wouldn't it be cool if we could put this on a map? and um, uh, and that was sort of one of the first projects that I that I worked on, and that led to kind of a greater interest in this area. And I'm not a developer; I don't I don't write code, um, so I I feel like I, I can talk with developers, and I'm pretty good at at, at, at sort of um, uh, helping to sort of translate between the news side and the and the and the code side. Um, though I think that increasingly, as as uh, as folks. Um, uh, learn, you know, we, we, there are people who have skills in both areas and can be kind of one-man band uh, uh, data journalists. That's, that's terrific. So how important do you think people networking is? Um, networking uh, has gotten me most of the jobs that I've that I've gotten over the years, um, and it's and, and and it's sort of the thing that you don't you don't know who's going to be the the connector. Um, so you have to um, talk to a lot of people and and uh, and, and and make a lot of uh, uh, contacts and friends and and. Uh, and people move around, and eventually, um, who knows? Who knows who might uh, lead you to your next opportunity? Okay, thank you so much, Eric. Sure, thank you. my pleasure. Huh? <laughs> I don't want to shake your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. How was that? Thank you. Great. How was it? Um, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Kevin wants people walk. Natural, right? Yeah, yeah. They were actually serving lunch, but. Oh. Irene's in the way. She's. Uh, okay.